just another tutorial. I'm going to try to do, um, as I found on the internet here, uh, Constantine Melnikov's uh, house. Uh, that's a, an interesting project to do. In a simple way, you're going to do the cylinder and try to do the window configuration. Um, OK, let's go for it. So we start with a, with a base that we're going to extrude afterwards. So it's a circle, of obviously. So we can go to the top and from the center point snapping to the grid we develop a circle with radius 15 if we zoom down in the top view we'll see the object we can actually check the um, details of it to make sure that the radius 15 so it's pretty much what the building is. Let's make an offset now of the curve to generate the thickness of the wall towards the outside and we can change the distance to 1.7 which is basically a foot since I have the grid size as a foot uh, or foot 0.7 and the direction side of two offsets outside. There we go. Select both of the curves and we extrude the curve. Um, we can go to the front to make sure that the height is exactly as we want, but for now we're going to place 40 feet high. So that will be the height is uh, as you see an empty uh, si uh, pipe system. Okay, now we're going to go to the front and draw the detail of the window. We're going to do it approximately. We have exact measurements, so I recommend doing it that way. It's a polyline and point by point. Uh, let's get to the end. So I think it's a little small, so we can select the line, select the, the control points, and actually be capable of moving the control points by moving them, for example, like 0 0.5 and touching the whole window and probably why not scaling it a little bit because it's a little small. So we go to the ending point, I would say like 1.5. Okay, that will be the one of the windows that we need. We need now to extrude it. As you can see in the top view will be extruded uh, perpendicular to its uh, configuration. So if we draw it in in the front view, it's actually extruding uh, according to the um, front view, the perpendicular direction. If we extrude a little bit, we touch it and we moved it towards the wall perpendicularly until it crosses the wall. we will have a piece that we can actually subtract from the wall afterwards to see in it. 